Picture the excitement that stirs within as the sun rises over the Atlantic, painting the sky with hues of a new beginning. It's a canvas filled with anticipation, enthusiasm, and a sense of adventure that can only be understood by those embarking on a journey of discovery. Our journey, a road trip stretching from the east coast to the west, begins here at the break of dawn. Imagine the salty breeze from the ocean, the soft murmur of the waves, the gulls heralding the start of a new day. This is our starting point, the east coast, where the Atlantic Ocean meets the land, a place rich in history and culture, but now serving as the launch pad for our adventure. Feel the palpable excitement as we pack our RV with all the essentials and a few comforts. Maps, snacks, a trusty camera to capture the memories, and of course, a playlist filled with road trip anthems. There's a certain joy in the preparation, a thrill in the organization, a satisfaction in knowing that we've prepared for the journey ahead. The route stretches out before us, a winding path of discovery that will take us through cities and towns, across plains and mountains, through forests and deserts. It's a route that promises diversity, a variety of landscapes and vistas, a collection of experiences that will undoubtedly leave us richer in knowledge and memories. Now, as we turn the key in the ignition, the engine hums to life, echoing our excitement. The tires crunch on the gravel, a tangible testament to the beginning of our adventure. A quick glance at the map, a deep breath, and we're off. The east coast recedes in our rearview mirror. The journey ahead pulses with potential, and the open road unfurls itself before us like a story waiting to be written. This is more than just a road trip. It's a journey into the heart of a continent, a voyage of discovery and a testament to the human spirit's insatiable curiosity. As the ocean waves bid us goodbye, the open road beckons us onward, promising a journey filled with discoveries. The southern states charm us with their rich history and warm hospitality. As we navigate through the south, we find ourselves surrounded by landscapes steeped in centuries of history that whisper tales of the past. Our journey starts in South Carolina, a state that's a living testament to the grandeur of the antebellum era. The historical plantations, like the Grand Boone Hall, or the picturesque Magnolia Plantation, stand as resilient sentinels of history. These plantations, with their sprawling grounds and stately mansions, are a window into a time of elegance and charm, a stark contrast to the poignant reminders of the struggles faced by those enslaved on these very grounds. It's a history that's both beautiful and heartbreaking, a testament to our ability to grow and learn from our past. As we move westward, the melody of the South changes. We find ourselves in Nashville, Tennessee, the beating heart of country music. Here, music is not just a pastime, it's a way of life. It's in the strumming of guitars on Broadway, the harmonious choir at the Ryman Auditorium, and the soulful tunes in the Bluebird Cafe. The city hums with the rhythm of music, and it's infectious. You can't help but tap your foot to the beat, swept up in the symphony of sounds that is uniquely Nashville. But the South is not just about history and music, it's also about a unique blend of cultures that have shaped its cities. Take a stroll through the French Quarter of New Orleans, Louisiana, and you'll be transported to a different era. The cobblestone streets, the Creole townhouses with their vibrant colors and ornate ironwork, the echo of jazz music in the air, it's a sensory feast. And speaking of feasts, New Orleans cuisine is a melting pot of flavors, a testament to its French, African, and American roots. A bowl of gumbo or a plate of jambalaya here is not just a meal, it's an experience. All along the way, the warm hospitality of the South is ever-present. It's in the friendly wave from a passerby, the hearty laughter in a local diner, the stories shared over a glass of sweet tea on a front porch. It's a sense of community, of shared history, and of a simple, slower pace of life that's a welcome respite from our fast-paced world. Leaving behind the southern charm, we continue our journey westward, the landscape changing as we move into the heartland of America. As we drive into the sunset, the memories of the South, its rich history, vibrant culture and warm people linger in our hearts. We carry with us the echoes of the past, the melodies of its music, the taste of its cuisine, and the warmth of its hospitality. The South has left an indelible mark on our journey, and we can't wait to discover what lies ahead.
Welcome to the heartland, where the horizon stretches out to infinity, dotted with gems waiting to be discovered. This is a place where the simple and the extraordinary coexist, creating a tapestry of experiences that are as diverse as the landscape itself. In the very heart of Kansas, you'll find one of the quirkiest attractions in America, the world's largest ball of twine. This isn't simply a roadside spectacle, it's a testament to human determination and the joy of eccentricity. Here, a single strand of twine weaves a story of dedication, growing year after year, into a massive sphere that's become a beacon for travelers seeking the unusual. Venture further north, and the faces of four American presidents gaze solemnly from the granite face of Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. Each chiseled feature represents not just a man, but an era, a struggle, a triumph. This massive monument is a testament to the indomitable spirit of a nation, a silent sentinel standing guard over the verdant Black Hills. And as we move west, the flat expanse of the heartland gives way to the breathtaking majesty of the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. Their snow-capped peaks rise like ancient titans, piercing the cerulean sky. The Rockies are a playground for adventurers, a sanctuary for wildlife, and a source of awe for all who behold them. The mountain's rugged beauty serves as a stark reminder of nature's raw, untamed power. Each of these places, from the whimsical to the awe-inspiring, forms a vital thread in the rich tapestry that is the American heartland. Each one tells a story, adds a shade of color, a layer of texture to this vast and varied landscape. With the heartland behind us, the Rockies guide us onward to the untamed beauty of the American West. And as we journey forward, we carry with us the memories of these hidden gems, the echoes of their stories, and the anticipation of the wonders yet to come. The Wild West, a testament to the relentless spirit of discovery and adventure. Our journey now brings us to the heart of the American frontier, a place where time seems to have stood still, where the echoes of stagecoaches and pioneers still resonate in the wind. As we cruise along the sun-baked highways, the spirit of the Wild West greets us with open arms. First on our itinerary is the Grand Canyon, a natural wonder carved by the Colorado River over millions of years. The sheer size of this massive chasm in the earth is enough to take your breath away. But it's not just the size that's awe-inspiring. The intricate patterns of erosion, the layers of red rock revealing the passage of time, the way the sunlight dances on the canyon walls, all converge to create a spectacle like no other. The Grand Canyon is a testament to the raw, untamed power of nature, a sight that truly embodies the spirit of the Wild West. As we continue our journey, the stark, natural beauty of the Grand Canyon gives way to the neon glow of Las Vegas. Here in Sin City, the spirit of the Wild West takes on a different form. This city, rising like a mirage in the middle of the desert, is a modern-day gold rush town, where fortune favors the bold. The glitz and glamour of the Vegas Strip, the thrill of the roulette wheel, the buzz of the slot machines, all serve as reminders of the risk and reward that defined the Wild West. But the West is not all canyons and casinos. As we drive further, we find ourselves amidst the stunning landscapes of Utah's national parks. From the towering sandstone cliffs of Zion to the surreal rock formations of Bryce Canyon, these parks offer a different kind of wild. Here, the allure of the West lies in its tranquility in the stark contrast between the rugged landscapes and the peaceful solitude they offer. It's the kind of wild that invites you to lose yourself in its vastness, to become one with nature, to truly experience the magic of the West. And just when you think you've seen all the West has to offer, a surprise awaits. The snow-capped peaks of the Sierra Nevada rise in the distance, their white tops gleaming against the blue sky. As we traverse these majestic mountains, we're reminded once again of the diversity and sheer beauty of the West. As we leave the rugged beauty of the West behind, the Pacific Ocean comes into view, signaling the end of our cross-country journey. But as we bid goodbye to the Wild West, we carry with us memories of a journey marked by discovery, adventure, and a deep appreciation for the spirit of the American frontier.
The Pacific Ocean greets us with open arms, a welcome sight after our cross-country adventure. As we approach the final leg of this epic journey, the Pacific Coast Highway awaits, a winding ribbon of road that traces the contours of the ocean's edge. There's a sense of exhilaration that fills the air, a scent of salt and freedom that's as intoxicating as it is refreshing. We've traversed from the Atlantic's rocky shores, through the verdant south with its historical charm, across the heartland's hidden gems, and into the untamed wilderness of the Wild West. And now, we find ourselves here, on the brink of the Pacific, where the land ends and the vast ocean begins. Driving along the Pacific Coast Highway, we're treated to a symphony of sights that are as diverse as they are breathtaking. To our right, the majestic Pacific stretches out into infinity, its surface a shimmering mirror reflecting the sky's shifting hues. To our left, the land rises and falls in a patchwork quilt of greenery, punctuated by the occasional splash of color from roadside wildflowers. Every twist and turn of the road presents a new vista, a fresh perspective. We soak it all in, the rhythmic lullaby of the waves, the briny tang of the sea air, the vibrant palette of nature in all its glory. It's a sensory feast, a celebration of the Earth's raw, untamed beauty. As we reach the end of our journey on the West Coast, there's a sense of accomplishment, a feeling of satisfaction that comes from having traversed an entire continent. But more than that, there's a sense of connection, a bond with the land and its myriad landscapes that have unfolded before us. As the sun sets over the Pacific, we reflect on our journey, a tapestry woven with the threads of discovery, adventure, and the open road. The memories we've made, the sights we've seen, the experiences we've shared, they're all part of this rich tapestry. And as we look out onto the Pacific's welcoming embrace, we can't help but feel a sense of gratitude for this incredible journey we've been on. Every journey has an end, but it's the journey itself that etches memories into our hearts. As the wheels of our RV slow to a stop, a sense of accomplishment washes over us. We have journeyed from the sun-kissed east coast, through the heartland's hidden gems, across the wild west. And finally, we find ourselves embraced by the Pacific's welcoming arms. It's a feeling akin to finishing an engrossing novel, the last page turned, leaving us both satisfied and yearning for more. Our hearts are filled with experiences, much like a painter's palette brimming with colors. The historical charm of the South, with its timeless architecture and warm hospitality, painted strokes of sepia and gold. The heartland unfolded like a storybook, each hidden gem adding unique hues and textures. The Wild West, a symphony of earthy tones and bold strokes, was a testament to our spirit of adventure. And the Pacific's embrace, it added shades of tranquility, a soothing blue that calmed our adrenaline-charged souls. The journey has been much more than a mere geographical traverse. It has been a voyage of self-discovery, a chance to step out of our comfort zones, and a lesson in embracing the unexpected. The anticipation at the start, the thrill of the unknown, the challenges along the way, and the satisfaction of reaching our destination, each stage of the journey has added chapters to our life story. The memories created are not just snapshots stored in our phones, but are etched deep within us. They are the shared laughter, the road trip songs sung out of tune, the impromptu detours, the strangers who became friends, and the silent moments where we simply took in the beauty around us. As we watch the last rays of sunlight disappear into the Pacific, we realize that it's not just about the destination, but the journey that truly matters. As the curtain closes on this adventure, we know that more roads await. For now, we sit back, reminiscing about the journey, knowing that these memories will keep us company until the dawn of our next adventure.